Behind these tinted windows, nearly 200 years of anticipation, 92-year-old Roger McDonald and his 92-year-old bride, Audrey, both have been waiting for this day. It's a pleasure to be here. And so has this group of onlookers. Three generations of the McDonald family allow us to tag along as they prepare to see a lifelong dream take flight. Flying was my first love. Born in Tuskegee, Alabama, Mr. McDonald enrolled in an aviation program at Tuskegee Institute when he was 16 years old. I met some of the guys that were soon to be Tuskegee Airmen. Then World War II began, and Mr. McDonald was drafted. During the war, he found a pen pal. And the next day, our ship sailed from New York to Bristol, England. And uh, I selected one of these girls to write to. The letters continued for two years until the day he returned home, and he and Audrey finally met. As we were going upstairs, I said, uh, would, would you marry me? And she said, if you want me to. And so uh, 75 years later, she's still supervising me. And that's why this day is so special. While he found success as an air traffic controller, he never lost the desire for his own pair of wings. Beautiful. This is amazing. Beautiful. Inside the Delta Flight Museum, his wheels of choice. As soon as you walk in the door, it is just a statement piece. Um, it's very uh, similar to kind of what he's going to be flying today. The Boeing 737-200 is a full motion flight simulator. It's exactly what Mr. McDonald would have trained on decades ago as a pilot. Today, it's finally his turn. Let's see how it fits. But first things first. It's too small. <laughs> you look great. Smile, Mr. McDonald. I don't smile. Oh, yes, you do. Not even in that hat? Not even in this hat. As a young man, you wanted to be number one. Mm -hmm. Sitting here at a blessed 92, about to be 93, mm -hmm. wearing that hat. You've got to feel great. I do feel great. Based in Roswell, Georgia, Second Wind Dreams is a nonprofit organization that's been making dreams come true for people living in elder care communities like Mr. McDonald since 1997. The Dreams program is a way to bring them out and have them a part of society again. The dreams vary from riding a horse and attending a Hawks game. That one dream right there made me realize that there is a place in our world for people to be acknowledged once again and to bring them forward in a way that makes them shine. Roger McDonald's light has never been brighter. I feel very lucky that uh, somebody was uh, interested enough in my life that uh, they thought it would be worthwhile to do it. So this shows we're climbing at about a thousand feet a minute. And his story will live on. Because I wanted to do that too. The whole thing was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. I, I, I'd do it again tomorrow. That's right. And I felt like I was a part of history, you know, being in there in that simulator with him. I said, Mr. McDonald, where do you want to go? He said, let's see the lights of New York. Wow, and you and it's simulated in that. Oh, you can go wherever you want to go. It, wow. It's fantastic. So he was a kid when he first flew. He was just a kid. He about six or seven. Went up in a crop duster, and of course his family mm -hmm. said, "Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything." He said, "I couldn't help but touch everything." Uh. And he said, from that point, he was hooked, and that, he likes to get in planes and, and yank it and bank it. That's what That's he says. Ninety-two years young. <laughs> I love that his whole family was there <laughs> That's too. Right. That's amazing. It was great. And we have posted more information about Second Wind Dreams on our website.